Hello everybody, DF here, and we're back with Enchanting Dangan Academy Purely Prismatic Souls, and let's see if we can actually make it through the whole 50 days. Ta-da! Here we are at the library. It's pretty dusty, but yeah, yeah. Looks like nobody's here right now. What should we do? I feel like Ghost Mom, it's so quiet here. Seems like there's more books than before. Huh? What? Is it possible? Oh, I know. I bet someone just brought back whatever books they borrowed. But, but that's the only reason, right? I don't want to imagine there's ghost hiding books or something. Uh, come on. Okay. I feel like a ghost might pop out here. It's so quiet here. You're right. Yeah, it's almost surprising how quiet. Maybe the room is soundproof, so nothing will interrupt our studies. Um... You know... I used to know people who got so into whatever they were reading, they couldn't hear anything at all. But... I guess I get the same way when I get really get into my programming. I really like the feeling of being that immersed in something. Uh, um... Do you have anything that hypnotized you like that? It looks to me like she had a really good time. Um... Huh? Wow, was it this late already? Makoto, um, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you for spending so much time with me. You know? I want you to come see me again. I want you to spend as much... I want to spend as much time with you as possible. So sorry. Anyway, we should get going. Yeah, we're in the dining hall. For breakfast, Japanese style is best. What? Don't be so picky. If it's edible, who cares where it's from? Just a hot meal by itself is a luxury. Hot meal's luxury. Does she see it like that's because of when she ran away from home? Crap. I don't think these move very well at all. Okay, um... Let's try that again, then. Uh, well, we know the other two don't work, so... When I, while I'm starving, it's burger time. Seriously? Yeah, the calorie intake is terrifying, but I just can't stop myself. <laughs> Man, now I really want a hamburger. It actually takes a lot of muscle to be a model. Look at me, I have to keep my body nice and fit, see? <gasps> huh? Hey, Makoto, your face is all red. What could you possibly be thinking about? I think we both had a pretty good time. I mean, talking about your body like that. Yeah. Huh. Hanging out with you is so bad. I thought it'd be way more boring. <laughs> We're gonna have even more fun next time, right? <gasps> kidding, kidding, did I set the hurdle too high? Sorry. Don't worry, I don't have any expectations. Feel free to come say hi again sometime. Okay, you want to head back? I wonder if I keep going along, I might cut out some of the repeat events, you know? Here we are in the music room. Yeah, It's really nice playing a place to perform. I'd love to hear you sing sometime. Huh? What? M me? Um... Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but if you really want to. Maybe just for a second, okay? I was lucky enough to hear Sayaka do a quick uh, acapella performance. It looks to me like she had a really good time. <laughs> I had so much fun today. Thank you. But it's more than just fun. When I'm with you, I feel like I can relax. Um... What about you, Makoto? I really hope you feel the same way. Hey, um... Well, please invite me out again sometime. It's a promise, okay? Anyway, we should probably get back. Here we're at the school store. Look at all this stuff. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Where are those toy vending machines? There, there's all kinds of paintings here. Let's organize things in here a little. Hmm. Oh, yeah? I never used one, personally. Actually, I'm not sure if you've seen one before. That doesn't look very fun to me. Uh, never mind. Uh, let's... Or, oh, yeah, the weapon type stuff. Huh? Weapons? Is there someone here you want to fight? Are you going to fight Monokuma? Hmm. Well, I guess with the things where they are, I guess it makes sense to have some self-defense. I think it's a good idea since you're being cautious. <laughs> okay, for my self-defense, I want you. Will you keep me safe? Just kidding. Don't worry. I don't actually expect you to do anything. Looks to me like she had a really good time. 
Well, I know how to build a fire to heat up rations. And? Or what I mean to say is, I make a mean beef stew. Is that what you wanted to hear? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Makoto, you should stop focusing on all those girly fantasies of yours. Oh, but I bet Sayaka can cook. Maybe you should go talk to her. I think we both had a pretty good time. Yeah. Hmm, hang out with you so bad. I thought it'd be way more boring. <laughs> We're gonna have even more fun next time, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That was a new one. She can heat over fire to make rations. Yeah, I love how these little hints of Mukuro were getting. <laughs> the dramatic irony of it all. Yeah, I'll definitely be skipping these nighttime announcements. Okay. You want us to spend time with me? <laughs> I, I don't know what you're planning, but do whatever you want. I spent some time with Toko, and we grew a little closer somehow. Would you like, yes? Um, remind me what she'd want. Um, what would she want out of all this? Um, just, what does this do? Okay, um, uh, no. I'm not sure. We know that shears won't help. Um. We know she's got a dark side, so I don't know. Well, we know she we know she likes a fountain pen, so let's just give it to her again. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm already uh, engaged to master, so I can't go on a date with you. If you're okay with that, I don't mind if you think about me. Seeing Toko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. I can feel Toko's silent, silent pressure on me, stronger than ever. <laughs> Take responsibility. Huh? Responsibility? Me? Oh, well. I've been trapped in here too long. There's nothing to do. The boredom's starting to kill me. So I thought maybe I could write my next novel, The Pinnacle of Romance Literature. But I can't do it. Huh? Why not? Yeah! I've got writer's blah blah black. My powers of delusion are in a complete slump. This has never happened before. What's well, caused it? I'm telling you, you. did it when you opened up those old wounds. You're blaming me? <laughs> I can't take it anymore. No more writing for me. I'm retiring. Retiring? But that's such a waste. You got so much talent. Anyway. No, I'm just done. I was never all that good in the first place. And now I don't have the m motivation or willpower anymore e either. Damn, it's like she's haunted by all those ghosts of her past. Listen, Togo, why don't I take this opportunity to look back at why you started doing this in the first place? What's your problem? Why I started? Yeah, why you started writing at all. Reflect on that and I'm sure it'll give you at least a little motivation. It all started with the single love letter. A love letter? When I was in elementary school, I fell in love for the first time. He was a f friend of mine. There weren't any feelings at, at first. He was the only boy I could talk to without getting hung up. But then he told me his family was moving to Shikoku. As soon as he said that, I could f feel my chest start to tighten. At first, I didn't even <laughs> understand what I was feeling. It was a total mystery. But I was too embarrassed to tell him how I felt directly, so instead I wrote him a love letter. And then, and then, the next day, the, the day he left, I saw he'd hung up the letter on the school bulletin board. Oh my god, what? Mm -hmm. I got to talk to him again later on. Apparently, he, he hated the fact that I talked to him so much. All the other kids he used to make fun of him for it. Oh god, one of those friends. I guess that, he, that was his revenge, to show the world my letter right before running off. That's the most miserable first love story I've ever heard. <sighs> One of the t teachers read that letter. Said I had a talent for writing. Okay, so silver lining, I guess. And that's what s sparked my interest in writing. <coughs> so that's what happened, huh? <coughs> and now I dug up th that terrible memory. It's all your f fault. All this trauma. It's all pointless. I'll never write another sublime love story ever uh, again. Well, then why don't you try writing something besides romance stuff? 
Huh? Like mystery stuff. We're kind of in that right now. What I mean is, why don't you just write about what you're actually feeling, right from the heart? Mm -hmm. You're saying I should take these feelings of anger and emptiness and turn them into a novel? Honestly, I think that'd probably do her a lot of good. Yeah. Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Fine. I'm gonna do it. Right from the heart. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Uh-oh, you're slipping in other, your other personality. Toko dragged her screeching laughter behind her as she ran off. Well, she definitely seemed motivated. But is that a good thing? Skill points increased. Part of ways to Toko went back to my room. Yeah, let's... So, I did a free time event just to make sure I had something for this recording I could show off to people. Here we are at the rec room. There's all kinds of games and stuff to do in here. It almost makes me feel like I'm not at school, blah, blah, blah. And there's someone in the locker. Host speak really is amazing. Yeah. Actually, I was kind of worried about that too. I was thinking maybe we should check it. There might be someone inside waiting to ambush us. Ambush? Hmm. Oh, I mean, yeah, that'd be pretty weird, huh? This being a school and all. But you never know what Monokuma might do, right? Better safe than Come sorry. On. Anyway, you're a pretty perceptive guy, huh? I feel like you'll live a nice long life. I'm getting a strange feeling. Something about Junko seems off. Am I just imagining it? I think we both had a pretty good time. I think that got us half a hard. Yeah. Let's see. Um, grass is so lush and green. Do you have a favorite flower? That flower is kind of creepy. Mm. Not really. Come on. I mean, to be honest, whether or not a flower is, is depend, pretty depends on the and situation, plus. right? It's like one lone flower on the battlefield or you almost step on one, but pull back the last second. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I think we both had a pretty good time. Hmm. Okay. So that was an interesting one. Um. Mm. Want to try singing together with everyone? Yeah. Huh. You know, that does come up a lot. What People wonder if I'm going to break out of modeling and go multi-industry. But I'm not sure if that's what I want. I might be staying a little far from a dream. Although, talking about with you, maybe I kind of see it in a different light now. <laughs> maybe I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> anyway, if I do make my d debut, cheer for me, okay? Looks to me she had a really good time. Let's make lunch and go eat somewhere. For real? Oh, that sounds awesome. I'm totally looking forward to a homemade lunch. I mean, you are going to make it for me, right? I don't really love or hate anything, so you could just pack whatever you feel like. Hmm. Oh, but I guess I can help a little bit if you promise that you want to make. Looks to me like she had a really good time. Oh, that's kind of cute. Right. <laughs> Let's not forget she's a murderer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially if you watch hmm. Danganronpa 3. Just a minute. What? So this is Monica Butler, huh? What? Is, is he like a, a Roomba? Why is the bottom half just a vacuum? Hey. Is um... that what you think? When you hear the phrase Monokuma Butler, wouldn't you go in the direction of, you know, an actual butler or at least a maid? Mm. Yeah, that'd be a nice two birds of one stone situation. Clean and cute. Unbelievable. Anyway, do it again. It's total failure, but you didn't technically finish your assignment, so. What are you gonna do? Guess I'll give you some more tickets. Eight trip tickets. Now, what's the next one? Aha, the cooking ah! one. That's what I figured. I just want to read comics. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any here. Bummer. Saying so, which, what kinds of comics are you into? Mm. Huh? Uh, oh, um, for me, it's mostly girly romance stuff. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That's totally not me, right? But whatever. Haha. <laughs> I think we both had a pretty good time. I want this awesome armor. Seriously? You're better off without it. Sure, it'll up your defense, but it's going to kill your manner maneuverability. I mean, look at it. I don't think it was designed to be worn. Uh, well, I wasn't actually thinking of wearing it. What made you think I was? Huh? Really? I mean, I just seen that kind of thing in movies of junk. Hmm. Like, there's always that one guy that gets killed, right? The big, heavy, slow guy. <gasps> oh, that must be it. You must be that kind of guy. You know, the doom kid. Well, I wasn't going to wear it, so... Looks to me like she had a really good time. Really? <laughs> well, I guess he would be the doom kid, but you're the doom girl, it turns out. <laughs> Yeah, we're on a date, and you're secretly crushing on me even though you shouldn't be, girl. 
Okay, so now that we've maxed out with Junko, I'm going to go back to free time events. We didn't max him out yet, did we? I, I'm trying to remember. Huh? Huh? You want to hang out with me? Hell yeah. Perfect. I was getting bored anyway. Let's do something fucking nuts. Not too nuts. I had a very exciting time with Mondo. And we grew a little closer. Hell yeah. Huh? I can have this? Thanks, man. Does that mean he liked it? Yo. Hey, Makoto. Could you come with me for a second? Huh? Where are we going? What? My room. I want to talk what? to you. Oh, in your room? Hey. Just come with me. Okay. You and your crazy hairstyle. Mondo dragged me to his room. Heaven's grace. Crazy diamond. Whoa. And hair products I should have known. And brass knuckles. Listen, can I talk to you about something important? Important? Yo. It's kind of cheesy, but... There isn't really anyone else here I could talk to about this kind of stuff. I can't show weakness in front of my classmates, and I've never had a friend on the same level as me. So, do you mind? Yeah, I mean, if you're okay talking to me. That's true. Listen, do you like being a high schooler? Huh? Sure, it's fun, but why are you asking that out of the blue like this? Yo. I like it too, you know? I like screwing around with my friends and stuff. Whenever I get to go out and run wild with my crazy diamond crew, it's such a goddamn rush. I mean, sure, that was a shit ton of pressure to build up the gang and everything, but still. Getting to hang with them was the fucking best, man. But I've been thinking a lot lately. What's going to happen when I'm done with high school? Everyone in the Crazy Diamonds is going to graduate. I gave everything to them. What do I do then? And I'm not smart like the rest of you. College? Not a chance. So I got to get a job, right? I I feel like I just maybe I've already done whatever I'm going to do in life. Maybe I've maxed out. Well, you're going to die pretty soon, so I'm sorry. It's like I'm empty now. I don't know. I can't figure out how to say it. The point is, that's how big a part of my life the Crazy Diamonds has been. So when I think about not having that around anymore, I get scared. Vulnerability. Maybe that's why I came here in the first place, to run away. To run away from the fear. Mondo. That's true. And maybe this is my punishment for everything up till now. Maybe I'm being punished for just doing whatever I feel like, felt like all my life. I don't think that's what this is. I think you're lucky to have something you're so passionate about. Being able to get into something that much, I'm sure that'll be useful later on in life. Shit, Makoto, you want me to put on a suit or some shit? Yo. But maybe you're right. Maybe having as much fun as I did means I'll be able to dedicate myself to working hard from now on. Maybe you can work in a, like, in a motorcycle shop, or you know what I mean. Hell yeah. You got the experience with, with bikes and, and machines. You know, when I think about it, maybe it won't be all that bad. Maybe I'm even starting to look forward to the idea of, j of working. Just a little... Just a little. So what kind of job do you want to get? Yo. Oh, I want to be a carpenter for sure. Oh, interesting. I figure I've done such a good job busting shit apart. I'll probably be good at building it too. What? Just watch. I'm going to become the best carpenter you've ever seen. Well, it's you, so I'm sure you can do it. Duh, shit. Of course, that means we got to get out of here first. Carpentry and blacksmith and blacksmithery. Blacksmithsmanship. Like, I mean, crafts, I mean, just crafts, old fashioned craftsmanship is really making a comeback. Like I, like, I know someone that I've played board games with is a blacksmith. Well, as long as we work hard and don't give up. Hey. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad I got to talk to Mondo like this. I feel like I have come to understand Mondo a lot better. I think we've finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. Rebel without a high school degree. <laughs> I should play a trial at some point just to see, test all these skills. You want to hear what I have to say, huh? Well, what would you like to talk about? Comics, video games, anime, collectible figures? Take your pick. I listen to Fumi's half-obsessed ranting for longer than I would have liked. Fumi and I grew a little closer. I know he likes potato chips. 
Er, I mean, I guess it's okay. <sighs> anyway, if you want to hang out for a while. Seeing if we still play this only game, it makes me happy. Mr. Naegi! Hey there, Mr. Naegi. It's kind of embarrassing, but there was something I was hoping to talk to you about. <laughs> I'll be waiting in my room. Come as soon as you can. Without another word, Hifumi ran off. I wonder what's going on. To go out of his way to invite me to his room. What could he want to talk to me about? <laughs> and he did what Hifumi asked and head straight for his room. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Naegi, to my secret flower garden. So what did you want to talk about? Is it about Princess Pickles again? <laughs> Pickles? <laughs> no, who cares about her? What do you mean, who cares? All that you cared, like a oh. lot. Um. Oh, well, maybe I misspoke. It's just that I don't have room to think about it right now. See, I was kind of starting to think about just maybe creating something original. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. Original? Mm. It's actually been in the back of my mind the whole time I've been doing fanfic. Fanfic is amazing, don't get me wrong. It's a way to connect people to a shared dream, so to speak. True. Mm -hmm. But I think I have more to offer. I'm ready for the challenge of creating that dream myself. Yeah, Hufumi, that's what I want to do. Not that anybody on YouTube cares. I was thinking, if I could create something that might save someone, the way Princess saved me. Here oh, yeah, that's true. I want to create a masterpiece that will astound a mainstream audience. I only watch anime on the weekend, and I only really know the most popular comics. I want to try and make something that has the same reach as stuff like that. I guess what I really want to do is create something that other people will want to make fanfic of. Yeah, that's a real dream mm -hmm. there. Once you start making fanfiction, then you know you've made it. Of course, I'll still keep making fanfic myself. That's my life's work, after all. But if that can coexist alongside original work, that's like the best of both worlds. That's like my dream. Yeah, that's like my dream. Like, no more, no more of these works. I... No more of getting different jobs. I, that I just have the time and the affordability to write every day. Write original work and fanfic work. So that's your dream? <laughs> uh -huh, a dream? When you put it like that. Uh, stop. You're embarrassing me. But having a dream to work toward is really nice. I'll be cheering you on in private. <laughs> no, Mr. Nagy. In private is unacceptable. Huh? Yes, indeed. I want you to become my assistant. What? That's right, a legendary assistant slash historian. I feel as if... Oh man, how cool is that? You'll be like my own personal narrator. Mm. Long ago, mm. there was a man named mm. Hafumi Yamada. Mm. He was an incredibly famous fanfic creator. <sighs> His grandpa went up to the mountain to cut and cut and cut and cut. <laughs> what? His grandpa... S His grandma spent her days washing clothes, washing pants, washing all kinds of stuff. Here comes a rare giant peach down the river. Grab it, sell it to the highest bidder. Hifumi? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I just got a little carried away in my late latest plot. That's what that was? <laughs> yeah, I've heard of the peach story, it just saying. <laughs> anyway, I'll be counting on you to give the world a play-by-play -play as I ascend into godhood. Um, I mean, if I'm successful. Uh, I'll be counting on your unique perspective as my friend. I'm glad I got to learn about Hifumi's dreams. I feel like I've come to understand Fumi a lot better. I think we've finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. Lost in Scanslation. Hmm. That was an interesting one. I was able to relate to that until we got to the whole peach floating down the river thing. Left Fumi's room and decided to go back to my own for a while. But no, that is my dream. That I'd just be able to write all day and make a living off of that. That's, um, that's my dream. That I get to do nothing but write. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, every... Yeah, I just want to write and create both fan fiction, both original stuff. That's all I really want. So, if you want to help support my dream, go to Patreon right now. D Patreon.com slash DizzyFanatic2364. I could really use the help. So I want to try to get all the free time events finished before doing any more dates. <laughs> What's that? You want to hear what I've got to say? Quiet down and listen! Very well. I've got many theories on many topics, and I'll share them all with you. Taco went into extreme detail on some of his many theories. We grew a little closer, though he looks as stiff as a board. What would you like to give him? We give him one of those damn chin drills that I have no idea what to do with. Yeah, I'm not really creative in the gift giving. If it works, I just go for it. Ha 
<laughs> wow, very impressive. I should thank you for this. So thanks. And so please. Listen to me. Would you like to study with me, Mikoto? Just the two of us? Come to my room. If there's anything you don't understand, I'm a very attentive teacher. Was oh, this the last one again? Um, I don't think I need you to be all that attentive. But sure, you don't mind if I stop hmm. by? Of course not. Okay, let's do this. Do it. We're tackling the way we headed to his room. Hey! Oh, wow. I'm seeing a lot of charts and Japanese characters that I can't read. Welcome, Makoto. You're the first guest I've invited in my room. Hmm. Now that we're here, let me pose to you a question. A question? <laughs> Don't worry. No study required. This is the most basic of basic questions. Very straightforward. Aha! Uh -huh. This should be no challenge for you. Very easy, I assure you. Stop saying how, it's gonna e how easy it's going to be. That just puts even more pressure on me. Hmm. Okay, here we go. What country first established zero as a numerical concept? Oh, 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 I'm pretty sure. I think, was it the, was it the Arabs that came up with zero? Hmm, zero's a number. I'm pretty sure that came from an Asian country. Well, I think it would have been Muslims in India, if I'm correct. It was India, right? Wasn't it? <laughs> correct. Good job, Makoto. I had faith in you, and you came through for me. Okay, well, maybe I was off, but I heard something that, like, we had Muslims to thank for the concept of zero. Maybe. And there are Muslims in India. And you came through for me. Okay, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong the historical fact, I'm very sorry if I'm an ignorant little white girl. Which, in some ways, I am. You hear me? Seeing you get excited is getting me excited. Let's stack our effort on one on top of the other and show these self-centered genius jerks what for. Hey, um, Taka? What are you talking about? Yeah? Well, I've just noticed. You seem to really hate the idea of geniuses. <sighs> hmm. I guess I feel like they're just my sworn enemy, you know? Huh? Hmm. But you hit the nail on the head. You're pretty sharp. But why? <sighs> There's someone, someone I respect, someone I hate, someone I have to surpass. Because he was a genius. What? In other words... Tor no Suko, Suke Ishimaru. Do you recognize that name? He was my grandfather. He was once Prime Minister of Japan. Ooh, he was your grandpa? Mm. That, those are high expectations. He went from Minister of Foreign Affairs to Chief Cabinet Secretary and finally Prime Minister. And all without any support network and only a high school degree. He was simply a genius. Everything he did, he did without any effort. He sounds like an amazing person. And he was your grandfather? Count on it. He was a genius. He never known failure. His success was unimaginable to a normal person. But because of that, he allowed himself to be controlled by naive emotions and got roped into corruption scandal. Oh. He had no idea what the world of geniuses was really like. At least, that's how I see it. Man, he really has a moral compass, doesn't he? Hmm. At that point, he fell just as fast as he had risen. And it wasn't just in politics. The business world had no use for him anymore, and he plummeted. The dead he left behind torments my family to this day. He died a few years ago. By the end, he wasn't speaking to anyone. Despite his fame, his legacy, the only people who came to his funeral were family members. That's hard to imagine. You hear me? Some consider genius fate's blessing, but I see it as a tragedy more than anything. The tragedy of finding success without understanding the importance of effort. Hmm. There's nothing worse than a genius who trips and falls, just like my grandfather. And that's why you hate the word genius. Count on it! My grandfather serves as an important lesson why you must never be deceived by the words like genius. Relying on my own effort, I will reach greater accomplishments than anything my grandfather ever did. You hear me? So we have to work hard to build a society where those who put in the most effort are properly rewarded. I see. I can agree with him, but Taka and I aren't the same. I can't reach for those kinds of big dreams. <laughs> but you know, Makoto, I'm really happy. I figured this school would be full of geniuses. I mean, I thought everyone would be my enemy. I never imagined I'd meet someone here who I could share my story with. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have met you here. This kind of thing only happens once in a lifetime, and then with Mondo, and then he dies. And then you die. I hope we can stay close and combine our efforts to shape things the way we want. This is so sad, because all these kids had hopes and dreams. Yeah, definitely. Got it! Okay, we have to keep on studying. I feel like I've come to understand Taka a lot better. I think we've finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. The devil wears a high school uniform. Sorry, Toko. Well, oh, well, I promise, we'll get to know you better in the third game. If we ever get to that, it'll take be a while, because you know how long the first Danger Rampa game took, and then we'll take the second one. You want to spend time with me? I don't know what you're planning, but do whatever you want. 
Spend some time with Toko, and we grow a little closer, despite her being creepy. Yeah, and uh, I think I had another one of those novelist pens. I know what all those gifts at the bottom are for. We'll get to those, what those are later, if we finish this and are successful. There we go, we got one more of these. I can't forgive this. I'll never forgive you for being this nice to me. Saint Toko, so please, I guess. See, she's so sundere. Hey, Mimikoto, could you come to my room? Oh no, no, huh? What's your problem? I want to show you something. I'll be waiting there. That's not like her to just talk to someone so openly like that. To her room, and she wants me to come to her room. Yes. Well, I better do what she asks. No, you can say no. You can say no. <coughs> <coughs> mm. I quickly made my way to Toko's room. Whoa! <laughs> exactly what I suspected. Suspected all those books, um, what they call light novels, I believe, and all those plans. Thanks for coming. <laughs> but don't get the wrong idea. I didn't ask you here for anything like that. If you lay a hand on me, I'll bite my own tongue off and choke on the blood until I'm dead. Why would you do that to yourself? Shouldn't you do that to your attacker? Trust me, that's not going to happen. Anyway, what's going on? You said you had something you wanted to show me. <laughs> I was hoping you would read this. Toko handed me a massive stack of thick paper. I saw handwriting on the top sheet. The neat letters packed close together. Is this... What's your I problem? I took your advice and started writing. I want you to be the first one to read it. Oh, that's like a huge honor. But thanks. Thanks. I started scanning the text. A few seconds later, I was still reading. The words kept flowing in my head, the scenery unfolding before my very eyes. It's good. This is really good, Toko. I don't know if I've ever read anything this good. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? <laughs> but it's really dark. Super dark. Reading it kind of makes me want to die. You know what they could call the type of writing where the author has directly experienced the subject matter? It's kind of a naturalistic style popular in Japan. Katai's Taka... Katai Tayama's futon start at all. Novels that use the author's own experiences. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I learned that at some point. Well, we call that an autobiography, sort of. A Bildung's a Bildung's Roman. I don't know. Try I novel? Are you talking about an I novel? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Mine's still a work in progress, though, but as soon as it's finished... Uh, I'm telling you! It's going to be become a shocking masterpiece that'll change the face of a novel forever! Knowing her, she might actually be right about that. It's definitely some dark, heavy stuff, but it's the kind of thing you just can't put down. Yeah, uh, it will be a masterpiece, I have no doubt about that. Sometimes you gotta go dark. <laughs> it is Shelby. It's all th thanks to you, Makoto. Thanks to you, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'll express my appreciation in the form of a poem. Oh, a poem? <sighs> On a locked and rusted door, I dug my nails in and dragged them down. So haiku form. Warm blood mixed with old rust, or not, flowing down my wrist. Coils like a snake, embracing my body. You watch me, a smile in your eyes. You watch. Time runs away, and you with it. You leave me drowning in a red sea. <laughs> Well, now do you understand how I feel? No, that's very concerning, girl. God, I hope not. But if it makes her happy, that's all that matters. Can I say that because I finally started to understand her, even only a little bit? <laughs> so that's for now. That's it for now. You've helped me find my motivation. Now I have to do my best to bring the story to an end. And when there's something, someone there to support me for that... What's your problem? That's what you call a friend, right? Friend. I never imagined I'd hear Toko say that word. But yes, Toko and I have finally become true friends. Mm -hmm. Now get up before you decide to lunch for me after all. Oh, I guess that's the best you could do. Go. Maxim. Was that it? Toko kicked me out of her room, so I headed back to my own. Was that it? Because I didn't get the achievement. Um. Okay, so I figured out why I didn't get the achievement with Toko. Because in order to uh, get all... Get all her events. You have to play her Genocide Jack events. 
And I'm going to assume, and if we look at her right now, I'm going to assume we can't access them in this mode. So maybe at some point I'll go back through the game and access the Genocide Jack events just so you guys can see it. For now, we're just going to go on some dates. So Saika, why don't you come with me? What would you like to do with Saika? We will use a trip ticket. Let's start with the dining hall. Yep. Want something to drink? For breakfast, Japanese style is best. Or, or want something to drink? Okay, so you're the type who loves Japanese food, huh? I figured. I'm fine with anything. I don't usually eat a big breakfast anyway. I get the feeling she didn't have much fun. Oh, come on. Well, let's just keep going because... Um... Finding good ways to pass the time isn't easy. I never really realized it till I came here, but I don't really know what to do when I have free time. I've always been so busy. I guess I just forgot how to keep myself entertained. Oh, sorry about well, that. Well, I'll see you later. Now, we already got Max with Junko, so it's okay if we miss a few events with these people. We just want to get through the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to do some karaoke? I'd love to hear. I'd like, I'd like to try singing on stage someday. Huh? Um, would you hate me if I just cheer from the crowd? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not a big fan of singing. Crap, I don't think I handled that too well. Well, now we know. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, you went out of your way to spend time with me, and I messed it all up. I'm sorry. Uh, um... No, don't cry! I'm gonna head back to my room! <sighs> Great. We failed twice in a row. Let's try again. Um, there's all kinds of paintings here. I don't know what most of this stuff is for. Um, you like paintings? Okay. Oh, wow, you're right! Ah, oh, look at that one. It's beautiful. Maybe I should take it and put it in my room. You see... My room is kind of bare right now. A painting like that would really help it come to life. I think we both had a pretty good time. Yeah, that one would turn out okay. <laughs> Thanks for showing me around today. Just spending time with someone helps me recharge, you know? <laughs> if you want, feel free to invite me out again. And if you have free some free time, I'll do the same thing. So, do you want to head back? Wanna play Othello? Let's give darts a shot. Let's play some pool. Um, Othello involves brain. Yay! Yeah, let's play! I've played by myself on the computer before, but... Um... I'm not exactly sure why, but it's never very fun. So it's nice to have a real person to play against. Um... <laughs> Thanks, Makoto. Looks to me like she had a really good time. He, they, whatever it is. We never get the time um, to find out their actual pronouns. Huh? Wow, is it this late already? Makoto, um, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you for spending so much time with me. You know? I want you to come see me again. I want to spend as much time with you as possible. So sorry. Anyway, we should get going. I'm going to just lay down and go to sleep. Rather, Rabbit's happy... The happy blue sky kind of cheers me up. Um. So in the end... I'm afraid I cannot agree. In the end, it's just an imitation. I want to see the real blue sky. I got the feeling she didn't have much fun. Ah, uh, great! Of course. I'm not sure that was the best use of my time. I need to go train for a while to get some hmm. energy back. So if you'll excuse me. Well, that turned out terrible. Now we know. We learn by making our mistakes. I guess I'm not I'm not in a rush to max anybody maximize anybody else out. Let's try Kiri next. Cause we know that's the real OTP. <laughs> Kiri, Nagi, Nagi, Kiri, however they go. Here we are at the library. Hmm. What's your favorite kind of book? It's so quiet here. Should we spend some time studying? 
Indeed. You're right. It's very calming. Normally, when I'm in a place like this, I prefer to be alone. Hey. After all, reading is something you do alone, right? However... And yet, for some reason, even having you this close to me, I don't find myself annoyed. It looks to me like she had a really good time. Well, yay! Score! <laughs> I had no reason to believe I'd have this much fun with you. In fact, I think I was able to clear up something that has been hanging over my heart for a while. Not that I can say for Thank sure. You. Thank you, Makoto. <laughs> well then, should we head back? <sighs> These two really are the ultimate pairing. I like how you can hang out with both with both genders as dates. Okay, Makoto being pansexual for the win. Alright, panromantic at least. I feel like Makoto might be somewhere on the ace spectrum as well. Ace demi. I mean, that's my own speculation. I wonder if any Toka's books are in here. Wanna go check out that back room? Oh, he'd be impressed. That's enough. I wouldn't recommend it. Curiosity killed the cat, as they say. Such ignorance. Your best bet to survive is com commoner. Is close your eyes, cover your ears, and keep your head down. I think we both had a pretty good time. Really? Really? Well, if we <laughs> mentioned Toko's books, I wasn't sure what would happen. <laughs> I suppose there are worse fates than spending some idle time on your worthless invitations. Frankly, I didn't think you would ever convince me of that. Let's see if you can do the same thing next time. Let's go. Well, then, we should head back. That was interesting. Have a blue sky kind of cheers me up. But... You're right. It's too bad it's not the real sky, but... I hope I can take a stroll under the real blue sky again soon. I got the feeling she didn't have much fun. Oh, come on. Okay. No more... No more... No more do, uh, selecting that. Finding good ways to pass the time isn't easy. I never really realized it until I came here. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, we went through this. Sorry about... Sorry. Man, I can't win here with the blue sky, huh? Here we are in the rec room. Yeah. Uh, let's give darts a shot. Um. Sh or pool? Maybe she like darts more. You got it! Yeah, I'd love to try it out. I've always wanted to, in fact. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? Darts just feel so mature. Mm. So, I just have to throw it as hard as I possibly can, right? It looks to me like she had a really good time. <laughs> I mean, she's an athlete. You got it! Oh man, I had so much fun! When I'm with you, time just seems to fly by. Mm. I'm almost scared. Scared of how fast time is flowing past. I feel like when I'm with you, I'm gonna wind up an old woman before I realize it. Uh. So, um. But I guess if I'm with you, even if that's what happens. <laughs> never mind. Let's just head back. Oh, that's sweet. I mean, we were your pretend boyfriend for a little bit. Uh. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the. Um, um. Do you see anything you want? What's up with that vase? That clock looks pretty old. Huh? Huh? I'm okay for now, but thank you for thinking of me. Uh, um... Um, if I do find something I could like, can I ask you to? I feel like I could just be honest with you about stuff I like. Stuff like that. I think we both had a pretty good time. Okay, that turned out okay. I wish you asked about the old clock. I bet... I bet they would have got a very good... I mean, we've gotten a kick out of old stuff. <laughs> Makoto, thank you for today. Being around you seems to help me relax somehow. Okay, um, we got this. They're like, but it's just so cute! Little brushy cheeks! Look at those chickens. Want to do some gardening? It's superhuman here, huh? Yay! Wow, they're so full of energy! They must raise the chickens here at the school. Mm. Even though Hope's Peak is really fancy, they still do basic school stuff like this. You think there might be some bunnies or hamsters somewhere in the school, too? Um... Hey, Makoto, if you could get a pet, what would you want? It looks to me like she had a really good time. I mean, I already have the pet I want. I have a cat. I have a kitty cat. You've seen her in a couple of these gameplays. <laughs> um... Huh? Wow, is it this late already? Makoto, um, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you for spending so much time with me. You know? 
I want you to come see me again. I want to spend as much time with you as possible. So sorry. Anyway, we should get going. I wonder if we can maximize their affection levels before we're done, too. Or, you know, the whole point of this, experimenting, seeing what everybody is, so then in the end we can maximize everything. I've always wanted to see some live music. Um... I don't really have any specific kind, but I do like listening to music in general. Um... I like to listen to music when I'm having fun, and it makes everything even more fun. And when I'm sad, I listen to music that cheers me up. <laughs> music really is amazing, huh? I think we both had a pretty good time. <laughs> Makoto, thank you for today. Being around you seems to help me relax somehow. Um, yeah, this is so cute, so cute, so cute, baby! You're a cute baby! You're a cute baby! I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it from this cutonium radiating off of this splendid little cinnamon roll who did not deserve to die. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like this so much, because I'm getting to know these characters that I know died, but it feels like they're not really dead anymore, you know what I mean? Mm, let's see. Mostly come up with ideas for new computer programs, I guess. Um... Other than that, I don't really do anything all that interesting. I got the feeling she didn't have much fun. Oh, come on. Uh, um... I feel really drained. Oh, but it's not your fault or anything. I'm just having a tough time is all. Um... So, well, I guess I'm gonna get going. Oh, well, that didn't turn out so well, I guess. You even have a motorcycle magazine. Seriously? Uh, Let me see. Hey, come on. Whoa, there's an article in here about the crazy diamonds. And is it just service stuff either? They seriously did their homework. Hell yeah. Can't believe they put that much effort into it. This magazine ain't half bad. I think we both had a pretty good time. Yo. It's fun screwing around like this once in a while, right? I mean, as long as you're there to screw around with me. Hell yeah. Uh, next time you're in the mood, let me know. I'm good to go anytime. Wait a minute. Okay, ready to head back? I'm sorry, that language. What? I mean, we know Mondo kind of does kind of lean toward the guys. <laughs> now, don't tell me there wasn't like a really, really heavy bromance with Taka, if you know what I mean. Um, this is a school. They knew what they were okay, doing. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. They know what they're doing. I'm like, I feel like everybody here is <laughs> like by or pan somewhere. At least the way they've set up this game. You know what I mean? I love reading. I'm getting kind of sleepy. Should we spend some time studying? You're right. Yeah, it's so much fun to learn about new things. Even if it's a book you've already read. Yeah. Each time you read it again, you pick up on little details you didn't notice before. That's right. Mm. Even the picture books you read as a kid. If you look at them now, you'll have a totally new experience. That's true, too. Is that part of what it means to grow up? It looks to me like she had a really good time. Mm -hmm. Um. Huh? Wow, is it this, this late already? You are too cute! Thank you. Yay! You know? And you know what? You have, like, this one of the saddest backstories of this entire franchise. I'm sorry. <laughs> you do not deserve any of what came to you. Sweet, sweet one. Oh. Today's a day. We got everything. Wah -wah? Huh? This thing looks just like me. Hmm? Wait, what's this on the back? Hold on. A zipper? And is that a voice I hear coming from inside? Help me! Someone help me! I think I just heard something I don't, I don't think I wanted to hear. Hmm. Listen, is everyone present and accounted for? Nobody missing? Okay, just making sure. Well, now. I guess I'll just pretend I didn't hear anything. Hey, hey! Now, I'm almost afraid to ask, but what exactly makes this adult? I got it! Wait, no, I know. You were thinking it's kind of adultish to have secrets, right? You guys! That's totally an elementary school way of thinking. Aren't you guys all high schoolers? Yes, indeed. So do it over. What the hell was all this? It's a total failure, but you didn't tightly finish what your assignment, you so do? I guess I'll give you some more tickets. Okay, um, is that a slot machine back there, or? Oh. It is a little too cutesy, is it not? Then again, it is not as if we are at an actual casino. 
Perhaps that is an appropriate level of cuteness for a school slot machine. Let's see. Officially, gambling is illegal in Japan, you know. That includes slot machines. To get around this, they added a vending machine to it, so that te technically you are just buying gum. Then perhaps... Perhaps they did the same thing here, so that they were illegally allowed to install the machine. Looks to me like she had a really good time. That's interesting. I guess... <laughs> May I be honest with you? I had a lot of fun with you today. This is fine. Listen, Makoto. Do you think we could do this again sometime? Perhaps feel free to talk to me whenever you feel like it? As for me... Is that okay with you? I don't usually talk this openly, do I? <laughs> anyway, shall we head back? Okay, when I'm serving, it's burger time. Uh, um... You really like hamburgers, huh? But don't you get super full after just one? Mm. If I did that, I wouldn't have any more room for dinner. In Jiro's case, that's not too surprising. Crap, I don't think I handled that too well. Uh, well, now we know Jiro's not a burger person. Uh, I'm sorry. It's pretty nice to see if I'm here. Um, so who comes and puts more toys in here? Um, um. Yeah, good question. I can't say for sure, but it's probably Monokuma, don't you think? I mean, someone isn't coming in from outside and refilling it, right? Because mm -hmm. if that were true, that would mean there's a way in and out of this place. Yeah, that's what you do. Get 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 the little computer genius thinking. I get the feeling she didn't have much fun. Wait, really? I thought I thought that was an intriguing thing to bring up. Okay, well that doesn't uh, work either. Um... Now that face. I'm playing. Oh, let's play some pool. Let's give darts a shot. Oh, yeah? Oh, is that a challenge? Actually, sorry, but I'm not good at throwing games like this. Hey. Hey, I know what you're thinking, but aren't you a baseball god? Well, if you think this kind of throwing is anything, like that kind of throwing, you're wrong. You know. Besides, I totally quit baseball. My mission is to become the ultimate musician. No more rolling around dirt, mud, and sweat for me. I'm done with baseball. I'm done with throwing anything. I'm done. Hey, listen. Oh, but what if, if as a famous singer, my special talent was throwing stuff? Yeah! Okay, I'll throw stuff, but just a little. It looks like we had a... Re he Really to me, like, yeah, really good time. I thought that was gonna go downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man, that was a blast. Hey, listen. But it feels kind of weird having so much fun in a creepy place like this. It's not normal, no matter how you put it. Yeah! But, but screw the details. I had fun. That's all that matters. Okay, let's head back. Okay, do you, do you come here a lot? You hear me? Naturally! Without classes or worksheets or anything, this is the only way we have to learn anything. What the heck? It's strange though, isn't it? Monokuma calls himself the headmaster, but there are no teachers. Although we all came here to learn, it would appear that they didn't bring anyone here to teach. It can't be. Or could it be? Is Monokuma properly certified to teach every single subject himself? I think we both had a pretty good time. That wasn't too bad, huh, Makoto? You hear me? Even being trapped here, if you just give up, then you can never really grow. Let's find whatever mental escape we can in here and just focus on that. You understand? Okay, time to go back to my room! I seriously can imagine him just shouting all anime fighter style! Do you know how to cook? Every meal is important. Mm-hmm. Some may think man can survive on bread alone, but this isn't true! You know nothing! However, that being said, man cannot survive without bread either! Yes, indeed. Step one, food. Step two, food. Steps three and four, who cares? Step five, food, food, food! Keep yourself well fed and the rest of the world will take care of itself! So, let's eat! Wait, right now, what? Looks to me like he had a really good time. Yeah, new food would appeal to him. Uh, I'm just saying the way they've set up his character. Ah, well, hello. We certainly got fired up today, didn't we? I am amazed at how much fun we had together, Mr. Aegi. It was most unexpected. Without a doubt. It's rare for someone to exceed my expectations, you know? I eagerly await our next opportunity to deepen our friendship. <laughs> for now, let us return. Because we know you'd prefer somebody else. Why did you become a writer? Should we spend some time studying? Huh? 
<sighs> I'm so sick of that question. Uh oh. Can't people be satisfied without me having to explain every last little thing? Um, okay. Maybe we should have gone with the I love reading. Ah, oh, she's freaking out. You just wanted to make a fool of me. Never talk to me again. Okay, geez. That didn't go as expected. She holds a huge seminar here. Want to do some karaoke? You can hold a huge seminar here. Want to do some karaoke? I'd love to hear Sayaka sing sometime. Yo! That's a good way to relax for sure. But I can't imagine going to karaoke with any of the people here, you know? Mondo and Toko will probably just say how much they hate singing. <laughs> and Byaki is probably totally tone deaf. I think we both had a pretty good time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> man! That was a nice way to get my mind off of stuff for a while. I feel like I don't have to worry about a thing when I'm with you. It's nice. You're the only one here I could talk to like that. Yo. Well, let's get going. Whoa, a fully functional chest cannon? Now this is what I'm talking about. Very nice. Yeah, hell yeah. It's every man's dream to have a total badass war machine at his disposal. You guys totally get me. Now then. All right, let's open fire. It's going to fail, ain't it? The instant Monokuma pulled the trigger, there was a flash of light and the cannon let loose. Yeah. Wah! At the same time, the back of Spotty got blown back by the force of it. You guys. Damn it, you guys! Hey. You just built a safe for this stupid comedy routine, didn't you? Poom, poom. Well, you know what? Do it over! It's total failure, but you did technically finish your assignment, what so. What are you gonna do? I guess I'll give you some more tickets. How many poems? How many do we need? 30? Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. That's done. Now Greek statues. Ten of them, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is what happens when you be prepared. And microchips and paint. How many of them do we need? 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, last is paint, which we need 50 of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, keep it going, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Hey, that's better than last time. Now all we need is just to get more paint. Huh? Chihiro seems to be lost in thought, but... Ooh! What should I do? Huh? What should I do? That voice. Could it be... Are these Chihiro's inner thoughts? Alright! Okay! Bonus today! Let's really pay attention. What should I do? I just don't know. I want to change, I know that, but I'm just so scared. I believe in Makoto, but will he really accept me? Oh no, it's the queer coming out here. Most likely. Everyone's gonna hate me. They're all gonna think I'm awful. No. I don't want that. I don't want them to hate me. Maybe it's best if I don't say anything yet. Maybe I'll wait for a better chance. Okay. I know what to do. I, have, I think I have an idea of what to do. Well, I'm not going to say that they're awful. That's not true. Sweet cinnamon no, rolls. I hope that was right. 
Why would you ever think that? Nobody's gonna think you're awful. Huh? Really? The idea that we would hate you or look down on you for something you're obviously so upset about. There's no way, and if there's something causing you this much worry, then that's what we should hate, don't you think? Um... Akoto, I'm not trying to force you or anything, but... If you think talking to me will help you feel better, then please don't hesitate. Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. I think just hearing you say that is good enough for now. You've given me a lot of courage, honest. Uh, um... So if something happens and I lose that courage, is it okay if I come talk to you again? Of course, anytime you want. It looks to me like she had a really good time. Um... Huh? Wow, is this late already? Makoto, um, I don't know what to Thank say. Thank you. Thank you for spending so much time with you me. You know? I want you to come see me again. I want you to spend as much time with me as possible. Okay. We'll accept you, you sweet cinnamon roll. I know, coming out ain't easy. Um, this... Whatever okay. that coming out might be. <laughs> okay, whether, you know, there's a lot we don't know about Chihiro. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a half. Have you ever written any music? Wanna try singing together with everyone? Huh? Like, in a chorus? If everyone else is okay, then I don't mind. You're right. But, oh, but you know, we we have to do that kind of, kind of thing for class. Anyway, right? So, uh, doesn't seem to be your, oh, it's, sorry, sorry, honey. Well, that doesn't work. Can you play? I've always wanted to see some live music. Huh? Live music? Uh. I'm sorry. I don't really like big crowds. And if it's too loud, I get kind of... That don't work every minute. Sorry. Crap. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. How am I feeling here? Is just everything in the music room not working? Um... I'm um, gonna really try, so I guess I don't know. But most likely, no. Mm. Is it bad that I can't play a single instrument? Uh... Well, now I know which one works. I'd like to try singing on stage someday. I want to do some karaoke. I'd love to hear Saika sing sometime. You're right. Yeah, Sayaka's is a real good singer, huh? I'd love for her to sing for us in person. And her stage costumes are always so cute. <laughs> oh, but her day-to-day -day style is cuter than anything. Looks to me like she had a really good time. There we go. Finally a success in the music room. Do you come to the library a lot? <laughs> oh, yeah. I come here whenever I have some free time. It's kind of dusty and all, but reading's the best way to pass the time for me. You know? And people come by here pretty often, too. So I get to talk to lots of people while I'm here. Um... I think the best way to get out of here is gonna be to learn as much as we can about each other. Turns out it is. Looks to me like they had a really good time. Um... You look so cute! You do not deserve what's ca what came to you! Oh, here we go again. So I know, think I know what the other one is. I got it. Yeah, don't say anything yet if you don't feel comfortable with it. Once we get to know each other better, I'd love to hear about whatever's bothering you. You're right. I see. So, if I want to talk to you, we have to get to know each other better first. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe I've been relying on you too much. Oh, no. But someday, when the time is right, you'll be there to listen, right? Um... It's something I really want you to know. I get the feeling... Oh, so it should have been negation the other way, huh? Well, now we know. Uh, For the future. Uh... Want something to drink? Huh? What? But thank you. I was just thinking about how thirsty I was. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. I keep making you worry about me. I get the feeling. <sighs> Did none of those work? Uh, I'm confused. Um... All right. Let's pack a lunch and go somewhere. Yay! Ah, that sounds amazing. Seems like picnic food always tastes way better than regular food. You need to make a bunch of different stuff to make everyone happy. Sandwiches, rice balls, and all. And then all that, the lunchbox becomes like a little treasure box, overflowing with goodies. Um... <laughs> okay, then where should we go? I think the garden would be pretty nice. Looks like they had a really good time.
Hmm? What the? Hmm. It's not even a Monokuma anymore. Fine, whatever. What are you gonna do? You finished it, so I guess I'll give you a reward or whatever. I mean, <laughs> who does that remind you of? Have you ever seen Dragon Robber 2? Hey, um, That's already been 50 days, you know? Unbelievable. Though this whole thing seems totally pointless, maybe I should figure out another approach. Yes, indeed. Go ahead and waste your time however you want to. We're all done. Four trip tickets. Uh -huh. It seems like you've been working really hard. And to reward you for all that effort, let me give you this. Monocoins. 200, sweet. Mm. Hey, hey. Now to use that. Of course. Well, you don't need me to tell you, right? Like, I remember those toy vending machines. Let's dig for treasure. <laughs> You're like a child. Er, but sometimes it's nice to visit your childhood. Suppose I'll join you. I think we both had a pretty good time. <clears throat> <laughs> Day was quite fun. If you feel the same way, there is no reason we can't do this again. So then. Well, we better head back. Do you know how to cook? That hairpin of yours really suits you. <laughs> really? Thanks. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty picky about what I put in my hair. <laughs> it's just a little thing, so I'm glad you noticed. I think we both had a pretty good time. <laughs> yeah! Thanks for inviting me out today, Makoto. I had so much fun, I forgot to eat. So now I need to take it down a nice big meal. You got it! You ready to head back? What's your favorite kind of book? Well... How to, you guys, I suppose? It's true. I don't really... Sorry, I don't really have a good idea about myself like that. Oh, Well, we know that didn't work. <clears throat> it would seem... All this running around wore me out. I'm going to go back to my room and lay down. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do you believe in flower fortune telling? Do you like this place? Oh, this chicken's gonna be our dinner. Um, listen... Flower fortune telling? If I'm being honest, I do like to believe in stuff like that. Some people think I'm a child, but I get the feeling she didn't have much fun. Um, okay, I didn't think that was gonna um, be bad. Finding good ways to rest the time isn't easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Whatever, we want to finish this up now. Finally get something done! <clears throat> um. Alright, even I, my infant of patience, have grown sick and tired of your useless list. But still, your teacher will not abandon you. I will begin making preparations for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is when your real school life begins. Woohoo! I just can't wait. For so for today, please get ready plenty of rest to prepare for tomorrow. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The morning of the 51st day arrived, and Monokuma told us all to head to the gym. Good morning! Good morning, everyone! Quiet down and listen! Good morning! <laughs> well, now. As you should all know, today brings an end to the period of time I promised you. Phew! But it sure was a long time, huh? You all got up to this and that and that and this? <laughs> of course, that's only because you were slacking off instead of focusing on building decent backups. Ugh, I wasn't ready to die from boredom. That's a worse way to die than reaching out to grab a salmon and slipping and tumbling over a waterfall. Mm -hmm. If you were so bored, why didn't you just make your own backups? Hmm. What? What did you say? What did you just say? Now I'm really angry. Ah, I'm so fucking angry right now. What? What the hell, man? We totally made you a backup. Hmm. You did? You made this? You created it? You assembled it? To put it more succinctly, this was you? Damn it. This is no Monokuma, it's a stupid pink rabbit! How strange. Are you trying to deny my entire existence? I didn't ask you to put your own spin on this. Oh. If you are going to criticize us for our creativity, I would suggest you give us more concrete instructions. So it would seem. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's like you handed us a sketchbook and gave us some vague specifications. And now you're all mad. Just give up. Indeed. If you're going to complain about it, build your own damn backup however you see fit. Damn it! No, absolutely not! Until I have a proper backup, your real school life can't begin! Yes, indeed! So this is gonna keep on going! Keep on going? Well, why? Why do you sound so surprised? I just told you to finish the backup by the 50th day. I never said it would end on that day. <laughs> Get ready to greet another beautiful day! 
Huh. So apparently, Monokuma is going to make us keep on living like this until we make a backup he's happy with. And we can't start a real school life until we do. When the hell are we ever going to get out of here? <laughs> you should be thanking me. You'll never be as happy as you are right now. Seriously? So how? How are we going to finish that school life? This is what I'm wondering. I'm going to have to look it up because I have no idea what's going on right now. Nah. Okay, well, bye for now. I'm going to figure out how we actually finish this.